Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Langmaid with Research That Matters TV. It may seem weird to think that leg, calf, or foot pain can often be traced back to a low back problem. But if you've had pain in your leg or foot, pinched nerve in your low back may be creating your issue. Pain that travels along a spinal nerve is called radicular pain. It's one of the most common types of pain that occur as a result of a spinal nerve compression. Your spinal nerves can be pinched or compressed by bone, discs, or ligaments. Facet hypertrophy or bone spurs sometimes grow large enough to pinch your spinal nerves. Disc herniations or bulges can invade the space of your nerves and cause narrowing of those canals. And if ligament hypertrophy happens with age or injuries, it can ultimately place a squeeze on those spinal nerves. Whether your pain is coming from disc, bone, or ligament, it's important to know that all have a great chance of recovery without the need for drugs or surgery. Let's break down those three types. Bone spurs. Bone spurs or osteophytes form due to joint damage associated with osteoarthritis. Disc herniations, disc bulges, herniations, tears, they can all cause inflammation and pressure on your spinal nerves and ligament hypertrophy. Ligamentum flavum hypertrophy or overgrowth happens due to biomechanical stress and aging. Leg pain that begins in your low back can start with an injury or for what seems like no reason at all. Either way, your body is telling you to pay attention inside now. Every day, our practice helps people regain their quality of life from compressed nerves. Reducing inflammation, establishing proper joint motion, and taking proactive steps to reduce the likelihood of pain coming back are all part of our active care plans. If you felt leg or back pain, give us a call today. And I'll see you next week for another episode of Research That Matters TV.